everyone, this is Ainsley from the Drop Stitch Diary. So today I'm just gonna be showing you how I do my grandma's dishcloth pattern that I have on my website. Uh, it's a free pattern, you can use it as you'd like, just make sure you link back to my website. Uh, another pattern that is very similar to the one that I have is on uh, verypinknits.com. You can check out hers as well and she's got a lot of good videos that you can check out. Anyways, so here, you can check out my pattern, I will link it below. I have already cast on my first four stitches. You can check out my other video if you need to learn how to cast on. Anyways, y'all have to bear with me. I don't usually knit at my desk. So with your working yarn, make sure you don't knit with your tail, uh, you're gonna knit the first row. So just in garter stitch. Sorry if I go off camera. It's, uh, it's very, very weird for me sitting at my desk and to be knitting. All right. There's our first row. So we've got now two rows of knitted stitches. Now the next row and the next uh, 36 rows, I guess, after that are going to be knit two, yarn over, knit to end. So we're going to knit one, knit two, yarn over, which is just simply wrapping the yarn around, go on to the next two, and you're just going to knit to the end now. Alright, next row, same thing. You're going to go knit one, knit two, yarn over, and knit to end. And that was the yarn over there that we just knitted from the last row. You can see where they kind of, they're a little bit droopier than the other ones. All right, flip your work again. You're gonna do this again. You're gonna go knit two, yarn over, and knit to end. You can see here, this is our yarn over from the last one. It's very spacey. It's got a big space in it. So uh, just in case you ever, I'm not sure if you actually did it or not, you can uh, tell because you'll have that big droop in your work. So again, knit two, yarn over, knit to end. Sorry, I'll try to keep myself in frame here. It's uh, it's quite difficult. I'm not really filming on a tripod or anything, so it's uh, I will try to stay in frame. Okay, knit, again, knit two, yarn over, and knit to end. I think if I had a actual I or an actual tripod, sorry, I would be filming sitting in my chair because I feel much more natural sitting in my chair than I do sitting here. So I don't know if you can see all that well here. We've got some little holes already showing up and those are going to be the holes that are going to show up along the edge of our dishcloth. So this is like our border, I guess, over here. All those knit twos will be our border. And all these knits in the middle are just going to be our actual dishcloth. So you're going to keep knitting like this until you've got a total of 40 stitches across your needle. And then when I get there, I will come back and show you how I start the decreases. So this is my last row now. So I'll just finish knitting my last row to get to 40 stitches. done here. And that is now 40 stitches. So this is what the one side of your dishcloth is going to look like. Now to start the decrease. The decrease is a knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, knit to end. So you're going to knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, 
and knit to end. The two knit two togethers and the yarn over means that each time you will be increasing one but decreasing two. So that means you'll be in, you'll be decreasing one along the entire row. And you're going to keep doing this for every row until you only have four stitches left on your needle. Let me show you that one more time. So you're going to knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, then knit to end. So I will come back again when I'm down to four stitches and we are ready to cast off. All right, well, I'm getting down to my last two rows here. I hope you're still following along in pattern. It was, again, in case you forgot, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, knit to end. I have one more row here, and then we'll be casting off. So knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And that takes you to your last four stitches. Now at this point you would want to cast off or bind off, whichever term you prefer, and just do it any way that you like. Anyways, that's the end of this video and please proceed on to my casting off video if you're interested in seeing how to do that. If you have any questions, please write a comment below and feel free to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Have a good day. Bye!